general comments. Dress appropriately and conduct yourself in a professional manner. History should be taken in a private, quiet place. Smile whenever appropriate and try to focus on putting the patient at ease and make direct eye contact. Introduce yourself by name and explain your rule. Be welcoming to anyone else who may be with the patient. If you have other members of your team, introduce them as well. Begin by taking history and then ask the patient to undress for her physical examination. Listen carefully and invite questions to foster a trusting relationship. Try to understand the problem from her point of view. Occasionally, sensitivity to cultural expectation will require change in approach, for example. Some cultures discourage shaking hands, when others, the husband or male family members, will answer questions directed at the woman. Introduction Personal information Name of the patient Age Marital state and degree of consanguinity Blood group Occupation, residence, her husband's name, age, occupation, and blood group. Next of kin. Take gravid para abortion. We know gravidity, number of pregnancies, regardless the outcome. Parity. Number of deliveries after 24 week gestation, alive or dead, or number of live births at any gestation. Abortion, number of pregnancies ended before 24 week, including ectopic and molar pregnancy. History of present illness. Chief complaint and its duration. Details about the patient complaint in a story like approach. Mention any aggravating or relieving factors. Any investigation done for the patient. Treatment, hospital admission, any change in her condition. History of present pregnancy. All events in the three trimesters should be mentioned in details. First trimester, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, vaginal bleeding. Second trimester, abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding or discharge. Date of first fetal movement, quickening. Third trimester, vaginal bleeding, fetal movement, headache, abdominal pain. Review of systems including GIT, general urinary system, CVS, gastrointestinal or the symptoms. All the Symptom including that. Obstetrical history. Of marriage. Intervals between pregnancies. Previous pregnancies. Date. Type. Location of delivery. Duration of pregnancy. Type of anesthesia. Gender. Maternal or neonatal complications. For example, that example as you see, history, previous gynecological problems and its treatment, history of contraception, type and duration, Menstrual history, menarche, frequency, duration, amount, dysmenorrhea, sexual history, dyspareunia, past coital bleeding, post coital bleeding. Past medical history, diabetes, hypertension, asthma, epilepsy, 
past surgical history, type of surgery, time, any complication, history of trauma, family history, hereditary disease or congenital defect, drug history, chronic use of certain drug, drug allergy, social history, smoking, alcohol, drug addiction, domestic violence, occupational hazard. General physical examination Alertness, pala, jaundice, thyroid examination, chest examination, lymph node examination, palmar erythema or spider nevi, peripheral limb examination, checking for vital signs, blood pressure, pulse rate, respiratory rate and temperature. What we call palmar erythema. Palmar erythema. Spider nevi. Abdominal examination. Look for abdominal distension, symmetrical or asymmetrical. Look at the umbilicus, usually everted. Line in nigra, black discoloration, extended from the sternum to pubic area. Strike gravidarum, recent stretch mark, which is purple in color. Strike albicans, old stretch mark, which is silvery in color. Surgical scars, superficial veins. Linea nigra from the sternum to the pubic area. Umbilicus everted. Everted. Citria gravidarum, purple in color. Citria gravidarum, purple in color. This is old. Everted. Superficial, superficial palpation for any superficial mass or tenderness. Deep palpation for any deep mass or tenderness. Palpation for fundal height using tape measure. Tape measure for fundal height. Large for date. What's the meaning of large for date? That the fundal height not going with the gestational age calculated by early ultrasound or by last menstrual period. What are the causes? Could be wrong date, twin, pregnancy, macrosomic baby. Polyhydramnias, fibroid, full bladder, maternal obesity. Small for date. Causes wrong date, intrauterine death, intrauterine growth restriction, oligohydramnias, transverse lie. Palpation include doing low point maneuver, which are a series of four steps used in palpation of the abdomen for a pregnant woman to determine the number of fetuses, lie, presentation, and position of the fetus, and engagement of the presenting part. Fundal grip 
is used to determine which fetal parts occupy the upper uterine segment. Fundal grip, which fetal part occupy the upper uterine segment. It is used to determine the lie of the fetus and the location of the back. Lateral grip, lie of the fetus and the back. First, pelvic grip, pelvic grip, pelvic grip. It is used to determine if the presenting part is engaged or not. Pelvic grip. Second, pelvic grip. It is used to determine which part occupies the lower uterine segment and degree of fetal head flexion. Second pelvic grip. Auscultation. Pinard stethoscope. Sonic aid. Normal fetal heart between 110 and 150 beat per minute. Its location is below the maternal umbilicus in case of cephalic presentation above the maternal umbilicus in case of a breech presentation in the maternal flank in case of shoulder presentation